Hi guys, happy Pride. Hope your Pride month is much much happier than mine. If you watch my queer deck uh, decks live stream, you know that Hungary just passed a bill that will prevent anything um, gay related, um, seriously anything, to appear in media, in schools, anywhere. You know. People will not allow. Well, people are not allowed to talk about anything but the straight uh, version of the events or things here right now. And as you can see from the title, I was just, you know, planning on talking about how much things change and how awesome is that that tarot decks now are more inclusive and why is it more? Why is it so important to be to have? Um, decks with multiple uh, aspects and representation but I guess it's even more important right now because right now I don't even know if you could I mean I'm no you couldn't sell a deck with anything that anything rainbowy in it and obviously they can't stop me at least <laughs> right now I don't think they c could stop me from getting decks outside of the country but you know inside we, we can't have anything like that and it's just heartbreaking and stupid and hateful and the reasoning behind their bill is to protect children from pedophilia and this this is just the biggest bullshit ever but hmm, still let's hope that this won't last because I have to believe that this goes against basic human rights because it does and I hope that I even if they, the appropriate, um, um, appropriate um, civils, uh, what is it called, servants or companies or whatever it's called, they will find a way to bring some international forums into the picture and they will be able to make this law go away some, somehow or I don't know, it just have to happen because all I can think about is when I was growing up, you know, like 20 plus years ago when I was a teenager I all I saw in the media was straight people and there was some gay people so at least that was there so I knew that those two existed but and it's important for the story that I'm by so why I think representation matters because when I was a teenager all I saw was you were either straight or you were either gay I had no idea there was something <laughs> in between who was open for both and now it sounds ridiculous but really at first when I was figuring out who I liked and what I liked I was like okay I'm straight I like boys and then I was I don't know 13 14 years old I guess I think it was a long time ago so I have no idea it it was in elementary school still not high school so before 14 and uh, I had a few crushes on celebrities and women as well but at that age especially it it was very hard to see if I had a crush on them or if I just wanted to be them you know it's not that obvious when you're starting to grow out grow up and you start to figure yourself out because you don't know where your real self begin and who you want to be you know it's just not that easy so for a while and it, w it didn't last long I think it was like half an, a year I was like oh okay it m I might be gay so I'm a lesbian because I like girls but then you know life went on and I was like but I still like boys so I can't be gay because I like boys and because there was no alternative pr presented for me you know and I didn't think about you know such thing as you can like both that was just not an option and when you're that young you don't necessarily immediately recognize that 
hey just because I have present I have been presented with options there might be another one no you're you're trying to fit in to whatever box whatever category you're you know you have available because our minds are working like that we have boxes and we're trying to fit in some of them because we need to organize things and stuff like that so I was like okay if I still like boys and I like boys more because I do then I must be straight and this was just you know a phase or you know I, I was just confusing attraction with uh, admiration and stuff like that you know like who I want to be versus who I like and several years went by and part of it was that I got really sick at 18 so I was a bit too busy with other stuff to think about something like that and I wasn't uh, I was a late bloomer in every aspect you know I didn't want to think about these things until I was 17 or whatever I was like eh, boys and naked people oh please god no and then I got sick so you know things got delayed and I don't even remember when was the first time that I was like oh there's such a thing as bisexual and I might be pan I just like the bi colors more so <laughs> and I don't see because I, I looked up and I saw that some people think that bisexuals are transphobic or against trans people but it's not true I just I think it's just for me it means I'm open to possibilities <laughs> <laughs> oh god it should be just a fun uh, you know story but that's why even though I don't see myself in a way that a lot of people I hear a lot of people you know look for themselves in the tarot I don't need to see myself in a tarot I like the abstract and out outwardly aspect of humanity in the cards you know someone some things or that are better <laughs> than our everyday lives but it's important for everything to be there because and not just in tarot but you know in life general because there are kids at this moment who are trying to figure out who they are what they like and not just you know if it's good or not because that's already a, se a separate conversation and whatever but you know they might be like me they might not know that there could be a third option if they only see two uh, options and they uh, kind of feel like they fit in both they might they might be smarter or more intuitive than I was but I think there there are a lot of kids like like I was so it is important and I just want to know I just want to tell you that if you have a country that you're currently living in that has these options openly and you're allowed to talk about them and tell your children that hey these are completely natural things and these are part of human part of the human experience try to appreciate them and don't take them for granted because I never imagined in the past 20 years that things would just get wrong or an end worse than they were I was you know I assumed that hey we have pride month uh, the pride parade for a few years now things are changing well they are changing for sure and I really hope so that this is just you know some last attempt of stupidity and hate to win over love because I can't imagine that there would be a country in the middle of Europe with such stupid views I I have to I have to believe that this won't last and if you're in a country that doesn't have one I of course I can't ask you to risk your life or do something that you know puts you in harm and I won't but try to be softly <laughs> open about these things so if kids are around and they are looking for someone to talk to they might you know realize that they can talk to you I don't know I'm trying to think about what clever ways to wear my pride more not open because I can't do that because that would be propaganda you know but in a way that if someone is at that age and they try to figure out they could I don't know 
just see that there are people like them. Though I, I never imagine, and also I never imagined I would say this, but <laughs> I hope all the kids are on TikTok because you can't censor that part of TikTok and at least they see something over there. But yeah, it's very, very, very important for all the diverse decks to come out because you just never know how someone who, and they don't even have to be kids, but you know, usually we're talking about young people when they're figuring themselves out they might just visit you passing by and they see something and then that starts something in in them you know and they they it helps them to figure out who they are and that would that would be the uh, best thing for them to have these answers sooner than i did for example and not spend years thinking that you're something you're not so yeah happy pride like i said i'm sorry i know i'm not as upbeat and whatever that i usually am i will go back to posting those videos that i've filmed before <laughs> all this happened and i won't mention this all the time but i will figure something out because to be more inclusive even if it means i'm breaking the law now so yeah whatever just let's celebrate all the decks and you know let's talk about all the decks that have uh, diversity even if you're not some someone or something in those decks as an aspect of sexuality or whatever please mention them you know please share that oh i've so i've seen this deck and even though i'm straight or whatever you don't even have to mention who, what or who you are I was, you know, just mention these decks in, in videos if you can, because you never know who's watching and who who finds answers in your videos. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and <laughs> see you soon. <laughs> Bye.